Hey, good evening folks, it's Steve Cap, I have J-U-F. Hope everyone's doing okay out there today. So today, uh, I wanted to make another video, and I kind of wanted to go over uh, some things that um, I've kind of made in various videos, but I thought I would try to combine some of the steps uh, kind of more into one uh, one video so you can kind of see more things. Uh, and it, might, it might be a review if you've seen other things in other videos. So what I'll do <clears throat> is uh, I'm in, me in memory mode now, and this is where I normally keep the radio. Uh, and then I can go through, like I said, and get to all my different repeaters and simplex frequencies. So what I'll do first is I'm going to go ahead and go over to v uh, VFO. And to get to VFO, you just press the VM button right here. And what will happen is you'll notice I'm now in VFO Alpha, which is where I want to be, and that's this control here. And you can see we've got some activity here on 20 meter, various things going on. I don't have an antenna that can transmit on 20 meters, but I, just for the example here, I've, I've put the radio on 20 meters. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go ahead and select 10 meters. So the way I would do that is I would press the band button right here. Now, if I wanted to go to 160 meter, I would press this one here. There's 160. If I wanted to go to 40 meter, I would press there. So what you do, what you're doing here is you're actually pressing the frequency. So this is 160. Uh, this would be 80. This one here would be. 40. Uh, this one here would be uh, 20 meter. So it's a little confusing, but what you want to do is you want to just think of this, think of this as the frequency range. So we're going to go to 28, which is 10 meter. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to set our mode, and we always use upper sideband. And the next thing we'll do is we'll go over to our meter button here. And I want to make sure this is showing SWR. And if you notice right here when I press the meter button, see how that toggles? That's your output power there. So if you transmit, you'll see how much power you're putting out in uh, PEP, peak envelope. This is your SWR. Now this is your actual SWR that's coming back into the radio that your finals are interpreting. So. I've got an external SWR meter that I also watch this, but I also leave this in the SWR mode here so I can see the SWRs that are coming back into the radio. Alright, the next thing we'll do is we'll set the power. So to do that, I'm going to tap the power button here. And notice when I tap the power button, it's going to become populated up here. Now what that means is, this right now means that the multifunction knob now has control of the power. So if I want to turn it down to 75 watts, or if I want to turn it up to 95 watts, this is how you do it. Now when you're done, I have my memory channel button located over here, and that clears, um, that clears this connection between here and here. Okay. Alright, the next thing we'll do is I want to show you a function on here called Intercept uh, Point Optimization. It's IPO is short what it stands for. Now you notice right here it says IPO right here. That's inter, uh, intercept point opt optimization. Now what this is is essentially this, this setting is located under the FM list. If you press the FM list once and you'll use the right and left arrow key and we're going to go, actually it's right there, IPO. So when you have it set to IPO, that means you do not have any preamps engaged. The system actually has two preamps. It's called a preamp 1 and a preamp 2. But with the IPO engaged, no preamps are, are active. Now, what happens is if you tap this, you notice this will change to amp 1. Now, that's 10 dB gain, which by my math is a factor 1 to 10 gain. So that's... I uh, just did a quick little uh, Google search, 10 dB is, uh, I guess, uh, 10 gain, uh, 1 to 10 is what the reference I had. Now if I tap it again, it'll go to amp 2. Now that's, uh, by my notes, that's 10 to 100, so that's 100 gain. I hope I got that correct, but essentially what it means to you is it brings in your incoming signals and it also will increase your noise level. So let me demonstrate, let's turn it back off again the function 
Now let's go find a signal. We've got a station calling and I do have my cowling on and these are my settings. Let's uh, let's go to IPO. Now I've got amp one turned on. See how much louder it is? Amp two. CQ, 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 Delta X-ray, CQ, DX, CQ, CQ, Delta X-ray from Whiskey for Ecuador, Ontario, Whiskey for Echo, Oscar, calling CQ, CQ, DX. Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. Uh, Kilo India 5, Juliet, Uniform, Foxtrot. Uh, good evening, name here is Jason, uh, 59. Yeah, very good, Jason. I've also got you 59 here. The name here is Steve, Sierra Tango, Echo, Victor, Echo, QTH is Abilene, Texas. Go ahead, Jason. Okay, Steve, so fine business on Abilene, uh, located in Maryland, Mike Delta, about 100 miles in from the coast here, on the, uh, Using between the Chesapeake Bay and the Atlantic Ocean, uh, the eastern shore of the Chesapeake Bay, uh, cows and corn, very rural area here, they got, uh, working 400 watts off a dipole, about, uh, 30 feet, uh, 5 meters or so off the ground, it's kind of, uh, to see, uh, ZF6 BKW, the ladder line fed that dipole, again, 400 watts, uh, back over to you, Steve, from Jason, Whiskey 4, Echo Ocean. Yeah, copy that. Whiskey for Echo Ocean. Very good, Jason. Station sounds great here in Abilene. On this side here, I'm running an FT991A. Got an M100 Yesu microphone running about uh, 95 watts into a Charlie Papa 610 vertical. Go ahead. Okay, the Charlie Papa 610. What's the length on the, on the vertical? The, uh, the height on it is about 30 feet and the whip is about 22 feet. And I've got three, uh, three uh, uh, horizontal radiators. Yeah, I'm going to, uh, do you have that on your webpage? Do you have that on your QRZ? I sure do. I sure do. Uh, Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Foxtrot. I've got uh, that, uh, YouTube, and uh, I'm also actually doing a video right now, a tutorial video, and when you were calling, so I'll put this video up later so you can see how your station sounds. <laughs> okay, Steve. Yeah, very, uh, very cool. Yeah, I'm interested in verticals, and uh, I've worked so many verticals over the last uh, few days uh, on 10. See the uh, difference? Guys are, uh, you know, modifying up the meter antennas or what have you, but uh, uh, very interested in, in uh, getting some antenna diversity. Like I said, I'm working off the ZS6 BKW, uh, you know, horizontal uh, dipole, but uh, I was looking to uh, figure something else out, either some, some type of loop or, or some type of vertical for, uh, for 10 meters. Uh, very interested in what uh, what guys are doing, but uh, yeah, looking at your web page now, Steve. Uh, fine business. I'll, uh, I'm going to definitely bookmark this and uh, take a look at what you got going on here. And uh, yeah, thanks for uh, <laughs> giving me a heads up on YouTube. No need to do it, uh, but if you feel the need to to, to put me on, uh, no sweat, man. I just I don't like the sound of my voice, so uh, sometimes I get a little paranoid about uh, stumbling over my words and such. There, Steve. Uh, back over to you from Whiskey Four Echo Ocean. Yeah, very good, Jason. Whiskey Four Echo Ocean. Yeah, definitely. That Charlie Papa Six Ten does a great job all the way across ten meter band. Uh, runs about 1.5, uh, 1.3 to about 1.8 uh, SWR, but uh, she tunes up nice all the way up into FM. So uh, if you're interested, uh, yeah, I've, I've got a lot of information on there. So uh, just anything I can do, just let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you. Okay, stay fine, business. I appreciate that. Uh, got you in the log, LOTW and QRZ. So uh, we'll definitely be logging this back to you soon and uh, bookmarking your site. We'll be checking out your uh, your uh, West Texas. Uh, 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 YouTube there as well, my man. So thanks for the contact, Steve. About 73 on the best. Uh, KI5, Juliet Uniform Fox from Jason, Whiskey 4, Echo Ocean. Yeah, very good. 73, Whiskey 4, Echo Ocean from Kilo India 5, Juliet Uniform Fox. Happy DXing out there and make some contacts. I'll be clear. Thanks. Okay, Steve. Thanks uh, from the contact, for the contact there, Abilene 73. Uh, All right. CQ, DX. Very CQ, good. DX, CQ, See how he's calling CQ? Uh, and that was great. Happened to just run right across him. We heard him. Uh, when the station calls CQDX, uh, sometimes I'll say QRZ, which means I'm waiting for someone to come back. At that time, throw your call sign out. Usually just once is fine. And if they can hear you, they'll come back to you and they'll confirm your call sign. And uh, they'll also say their call sign. And then you'll exchange information such as your location, uh, your antenna equipment, and so forth. Uh, so that's just kind of an idea. So that worked out pretty good. That's the whole plan of the video today was just to go over some things. Uh, I did a quick demonstration on the clarifier. Uh, so anyway, I'll wrap it up. More to come. I uh, hope these help. Uh, 73, and thanks again for watching from KI5J. Have a great, uh, great week. Thanks again.